Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create video chapter for your YouTube video using Filmora 10. Uh, so I think uh, this is a useful trick you can use for instructional video or uh, maybe a long video. You need to separate your video into different parts uh, and you want to to add some some chapters on your videos to have your audience understand about your video and also show them different parts on the video uh, if they want to skip to that part or not and actually uh, th these chapters are available in YouTube also and you can uh, add chapter in uh, YouTube studio by the way uh, this chapter is something that you can add to your video uh, like what you are uh, watching here uh, at another youtuber uh, he is justin uh, brown a uh, brimo video so i watch uh, his video about femora 10 and i think uh, it is interesting to add these um, chapters to your video and i'm going to show you how to do this uh, for example here's the, the things that he want to so you see here okay so this one so starting interface and import and editing and you also have an animation uh, a progress bar of what you're talking on the screen okay so let's stop here this video and I'm going to I'm going to close this video I'm gonna go back to my computer screen all right let's close it uh, okay so here I am inside Femora 10 and I create a sample video project so you see here there's many layer on my timelines uh, down here I can preview the video for you uh, and here we have different colors for example I want to turn on this color uh, and uh, it will look the same uh, like, like what you have just seen okay so let's preview it uh, by go to full screen because I, I want to put it in the middle of the screen so you can see it better by the way uh, he put the video here uh, at the at the bottom of uh, his video okay let's play this one uh, let's play it from from the beginning uh, from here so you see here we have the animation uh, for the for the the uh, blue one and the blue color is uh, moving from the left to the right showing the progress bar and this is the intro part and we can separate with the part one part two part three and final and many things okay uh, so actually it is very easy to uh, create this animation and a special effect so i'm go back to my femora 10 now uh, all right, so this is my Filmora 10. So, I'm, so now I'm going to delete everything on the timeline to show you step by step on how to create these uh, things. And it is very easy. Just follow me, okay? So press Control A to delete everything. Okay, so the first thing you want to uh, to use sample color to create the gray and the blue one, okay? So first start with the sample color. So let's go to my media here, and then go to the sample color. So for the color, I'm going to use either gray one. By the way, you can choose uh, misty gray or stuff like that. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. So just put it at the track number two. Number two is okay. And now we can extend the extend it to the length of your video maybe one minute two minute or stuff like that so i'm going to keep it at about one minute because i just want to make a sample video okay and the next thing you want to resize to resize the sample color to this area for example i'm going to click on the preview window and now i'm going to resize it to this side so just make sure that you put it at the bottom of your video but stay away from the unsafe unsafe zone uh, in order to see the safe, uh, safe zone in your video you can click here and you can click show safe zone here so this is a bo uh, this is a rectangular box and you should put everything inside this box uh, for example you can put it right here so that uh, it will not um, disappear in your video okay when you finish editing uh, so I'm going to put it right here uh, okay let's turn off this one the step zone and this is the uh, the first sample color and i want to have some part here on the timeline by the way the marker the marker the y marker is depends on your video uh, the intro part and part one and part two and part three and final so i'm going to use another uh, y and this is the, uh, the marker for my video i'm going to uh, drag and drop it right here and now i'm going to resize it uh, to this side so to make to make a, a marker like this okay so it should be the same 
the same size with this one and actually I can just copy this one if I don't want to resize it manually I want to copy the effect from here copy the effect and then I'm going to paste it to this paste the effect to uh, to this box this white box and then I can resize it to a small marker like this okay so this is the first one and now I can move it to here and this this is the intro part right and I'm going to copy and paste copy and paste one two three uh, three more uh, white line okay so I'm going to select it and then copy and then I'll, I'll make sure that I lock this track and then I press ctrl V and also uh, I can just ctrl V again uh, so if you need as um, many markers you need, uh, need to control V control V on top layer just overlay uh, this Y marker okay so for this example I'm going to make this one uh, just one two three part so I, I want to make my video just three part the first part intro and the second part and part two and the uh, the last part is final okay just just show you quickly uh, okay so this one I'm going to unlock this track uh, this track and then I'm going to move to this one and this is uh, the intro so now the next thing i want to to add uh, text to here uh, right uh, at this area uh, so i'm going to lock all this track and now i want to uh, go to the title title and then go to the title again and uh, i'm going to use this one the default title so just drag and drop it onto the timeline and now we need to change this text to intro uh, something that you want to write for the beginning of your video and I'm going to change the fonts to be bust Here's my favorite fonts and then I'm going to change the size to 40 maybe Okay, so 40 I think is good enough and we can put it here So this is the intro right and now we need uh, some more text here for the, for example This is part one and part two and this is final and we are going to copy this one copy and then lock this track again uh, we need to paste and then we can lock this track again and paste so uh, one two three and uh, actually we need four title and we are going to lock this track I'm sorry I'm unlock this one and we can paste it right here okay so we have four title okay so let's start with the first one and uh, this is the intro so i'm going to move this one this one to the end of the video like this so this is the final i'm going to change it to final and this one i'm going to unlock this one and lock this one just lock and unlock and so this is a past one uh, i want i want to make it maybe part two because uh, i want to make it uh, close to here so we're going to select it and make it part two okay and i'm going to lock this one and unlock this one and this is a part number one all right and part number one okay so now we have all this thing here intro part one part two and final right so now we need to and uh, to, uh, to add another another background background layer here okay so uh, we are going to unlock this one unlock this one and unlock this one unlock this one and i want to make it uh, as long as the video okay so uh, the the length i'm going to extend the duration of all this stuff to the same length of the video so i'm going to uh, extend it to this part okay so many layer right and now finally we need to add color so the color is your choice you can add any color for example I can go to the media and now I can select different color here uh, for the first one deep blue I'm going to put it right here and now it will be like this in this position okay this is a deep blue and I want to to make it the same size with this uh, gray uh, sample color so I'm going to copy the effect from here and then I'm going to paste it to this to this area it will be the same size because uh, now if we use the animation keyframe to move the this gray sample color all the way to the right it will show the show the uh, progress bar so this is the deep blue I'm going to 
maybe add the animation for this for example the, if if my intro uh, lasts from about a uh, 10 or, or 15 seconds or stuff like that because i add a marker here on the timeline but actually when you add uh, this chapter this chapter to your video you need to to make sure that uh, the intro uh, the duration of the intro you, you have to set two keyframes for the intro and another keyframe for part one and another keyframe for part two and finally you need to set another keyframe uh, like this for example, this is the first position, right? At the beginning, I'm going to add one keyframe for the gray sample color. So I'm going to click here to add one keyframe. And then I'm going to move to this marker. This is the, for example, just uh, the duration of my my intro part. Now we need to, uh, to use this uh, one, uh, the X position to move the gray, the gray part. You see here on the uh, on the preview window. Okay, so this is a keyframe, the first keyframe for the in introduction, right? And now we need to set another keyframe for part one. For example, if my part one is here, right? If it is here, then I, I will move my playhead to this position. And now I need to uh, use the uh, the position of the gray. I'm going to create another keyframe. So for the part one, and now we need to, to have another marker for the part two, for example, at this position, and we can move uh, here, you the, the X, X slider, okay? Just a little bit too long, okay? And this is the final one. So if we want to set the final to this position to finish everything, then we can just use this one slider okay yeah i think it's too much all right so that is it right and this is the the blue color if you want to use another color uh, it is very easy by the way this is the effect that you ca uh, can create in femora 10 uh, adding chapter to your video like this intro and this is the intro part and when the key uh, the playhead move to this position it will be the second part uh, part number two right it, it is very nice uh, just wait a more uh, few more seconds so it will stop here the part one and continue to part two uh, sorry continue to part one and then it will finish here finish at this position and move to part two on the screen okay it is very nice right and now if you want to change the color you don't want the deep blue you want the coral uh, here for example you can just drag and drop it uh, here on the timeline i'm sorry before dragging and uh, dropping or not i'm sorry before you want to change the color you need to select everything on the timeline and then you need to move move up some track because uh, you want to have some uh, some track here uh, to use different color for example i want to use this coral coral color uh, so i'm going to drag and drop it uh, at the at the bottom track and then i'm going to copy and paste the effect of this one so copy right click and select copy effect and then i'm going to paste the effect here okay so it will be the same the same length and distance uh, let uncheck this one so you have this one right and uh, I want to extend the duration to the end of the video like this and you can do the same for example I want to have this uh, gradient too and uh, I want to put it uh, down here and I also copy and paste the effect of this one copy effect and then I'm going to paste the effect here okay so now I want to extend the duration now you have different color okay so for example this is the coral coral okay and you see here uh, we have a progress bar with a coral color very nice right and don't waste your i don't want to waste your time so we can hide this one and see the gradient too it is very interesting right all right 
So that is how you can create a video chapter for your YouTube video using Filmora 10. And hopefully this uh, tutorial can help you make better video. If you have more questions, any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like the tutorial, hit the like button. And if you're new here, consider to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.